We did it! Yay! Today I am so gosh dang excited to show you guys this beast of a mock. This thing is a fully modular compatible shopping mall that took me way too long to build. So I hope you guys enjoy because this thing was a pain in the you know what. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you, as I said before, a modular compatible shopping mall. This thing is absolutely massive. It's a big jump from what I normally do. It's 72 by 32 studs, so it's over two base plates long. It's got two decorated floors, nine different shops, and over 6,000 pieces, making it the biggest mock I've ever done. But without further ado, sit back, grab your popcorn, do whatever you like to do while watching videos, and let's check this thing out. Right off the bat, you can see this thing has a pretty nifty color scheme. It's using sand green and tan to build up the general facade. It's it's also got some pretty cool accented pieces. It's using salmon or whatever it is, coral, to make a pretty cool sign. I was lucky enough to pick those up at the pick a brick wall not too long ago, and I really think it captures the whole, hey, walk in me kind of thing, if that makes sense. And to make this look even more important, I put some gold flags hanging from the top floor, and then there's some foliage pieces scattered across the entire thing to make it look a little bit more lively, but that's pretty much it for the exterior, except some HVAC units and some AC units up on the roof. But going inside is where the actual magic happens. The bottom floor has five separate shops and the top floor has four. There's a coffee chain, a model train store, an electronic store, a comic book store, and everyone's favorite, the Lego store. I'll start where you first enter. When you go through the front two doors, you're greeted with a pretty spacious lobby. There's a marble flooring, some escalators to take you to the second floor, and some foliage to make it look a little bit more alive. But there's really nothing here except decorative elements. To the immediate left of this, you can see the coffee chain. Girls are lined up here to get all their frappuccinos, cappuccinos, whatever it's called. It's pretty hard to get an angle of the inside of this, but there's really nothing but seating areas, coffee dispensers, and a sink. All the basics you'd expect for an indoor cafe. Opposite to that is a very small store that it's not very popular nowadays. It's a model train store. It has all the essentials, a very small train build for a display, and a very happy customer that looks very excited to actually get a model train. At the end of this side of the mall is my favorite store and a popular fan favorite, the Lego store. This thing was the very first store I designed when building this mock. It's equipped with everything you'd find in a store like this. It's got the pad wall on the back side, a bunch of sets lined on shelves, displays in the middle, the red 2x4, everything you could possibly imagine. Well, not literally everything, but there's happy customers, so that's what matters. And to tie this whole thing back together, I included the 2x4 brick that creates the lights up top. That thing just slides into place and completes the entire store. The other side has a comic book store, an electronics store, and a unisex bathroom. I didn't have enough space to actually put multiple bathrooms, so it's just gonna have to do. Along the walls there are some frames that hold advertisements. It uses the same coral pieces as out front. It's all a part of tying the whole color scheme together because there are a lot of colors in this build. Speaking of which, the electronics store is lined in medium blue which is one of my favorite lego colors it has some lights that hang over the entire store it has a desk for the clerk and some stands that hold up some phones and tablets and all of the new tech in 2019 across the way is the bright and poppy comic book store to fit the theme i put my custom deadpool figure in there it has some bins that you can flip through to find the comic book of your choice it also has a bookshelf along the back wall that lets you see all the comic books that it has and lastly the final room in the first floor is the bathroom there's nothing but a sink a toilet and a plant to make it smell better but all the magic continues upstairs which is just as good as the first floor in my opinion but with fewer stores on the left hand side directly above the lego store is the clothes store it sells all kinds of clothes shirts torsos pants anything really. I built shelves into the wall on the left hand side to hold some torsos and some folded up shirts. There's some pants hanging from some stands along the middle, but there's really nothing much here except that. It's very fitting that next to this clothes store is a laundromat. I think you can tell this uses a lot of pieces very similar to that of the brick bank. It looks almost identical, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. And across from that is the only place in the mall where you can sit down and relax without having to pay for something. It's a simple bench that sits in the middle of the lobby. The middle of the second floor has a very big open area that Let's you look into the lobby down below. It also gives you a little bit of breathing room when going up the escalators. There's some more advertisements on the wall that you saw downstairs, and that ends up leading you to a shoe store. This thing is shelved with a bunch of different shoe boxes in a bunch of different colors. There's also some displays with different kinds of shoes, and I know it looks ridiculous, but the one by one plates and studs are kind of accurate to minifigure feet. That's why there's a couple of blue plates to signify this is a shoe store. There's a simple clerk's desk and a sign on the wall celebrating 60 years of this brand, and that's it. And lastly, the final shop in this entire mall is a taco chain. 
It's inspired by Taco Bell, hence the purple walls. And who better to celebrate Taco Tuesday than Emmett himself? It's got a very basic build for the kitchen and a simple seating area with some hardwood flooring to make up this entire thing. Nothing much to it, but that will wrap it up for this entire floor. And not just this floor, for say, but also the first one, the roof, everything. This whole mock is done. I hope you guys enjoyed because I had a blast building it. If you did, leave a like down below, share it with your buds, and make sure to subscribe if you're new. As always, thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, take care, guys.